Hello and welcome to my channel. I designed and 3D printed this bird cage. I designed it on Fusion 360 and printed it out on my photon printer. It's a resin printer. Now I am painting the bottom in this uh, light brown sand color thing and I'm just painting the whole bottom with this color. I painted the top of the birdcage black uh, and I took my time with the black paint here and after that I took some silver ink and I uh, dry brushed that all over the outside of the top of the cage. I found a 3D print file for a sparrow online. I will leave a link for the original print file in the info box below so you can uh, find it there. I resized it into the size I needed for the 1 to 12 uh, scale here. I printed them out on my photon resin printer and I made them in two different sizes. I am placing these birds that I printed onto a piece of double-sided tape. I'm going to paint these small birds here into some tropical birds that you can have in a bird cage. So I'm painting the head red of all the birds here and the middle of the body I painted in a yellow color. I mixed a tiny bit of red into my yellow paint so I could make a orange that I used in the connection between the red and the yellows on the bird to make it a bit more neutral in the transition from red to yellow. Then I painted the rest of the bird green, so the buttocks and the tail of this little bird. I used a tiny bit of white with a dotting tool to make the white around the eyes and I did this on all the birds. I used a smaller dotting tool with a tiny bit of black paint for the eye itself and then I painted the beak after that. This is really detailed painting so take your time with this. I googled newspapers and found a few pictures that I liked. I resized them into the size of 1 to 12 and printed them out. I found a few small twigs in the garden and I took them inside to heat them up and dry them. I cut out these newspaper sites and now I'm just curling them up so they look really used and old. I place them in the bottom of this birdcage, uh, placing them like I want them to, and then I am just going to glue them in with my Patex glue, just putting a big blob of glue in there and just squeezing the newspaper down so they look uh, like they have been lying there for a lot of time. And I decided to glue one of these birds at the bottom of the birdcage, so I just took my super glue gel and glued it in there. I decided to use a smaller twig here as it can go into the cage, so I'm just going to cut it off and whoa, that just took off so fast that the camera actually didn't see it right. Anyway, I placed this little stick in the cage like I wanted to. And then I'm just going to glue the birds on 
from the top and down as if the uh, little pin here is uh, turning the right side up. So I'm just placing two of my birds right here. Then I just turn around the stick and place it in the cage where I want it. So the birds are sitting right side up and I'm holding the little pin in place and gluing it where I want it to sit. I cut another piece of the stick into the length I wanted it and I'm going to glue my last bird on this one just like before. First of all I'm gluing it upside down where I want it, making sure that the glue holds. Then turning around the stick so the bird is sitting the right way and I am gluing the stick down right there in place. Then I just leave the glue to dry for a little time before I continue. I am going to glue this little bottom of the cage until the top of the cage. So I'm just placing some uh, of my super glue. So I'm just placing some of my super gel glue here at the bottom part and just placing the top part like I want it to sit and keep it uh, to together for a few seconds until the glue has hardened. And that's it, the little birdcage is all done. You can find my 3D print file for the birdcage in the info box below, together with the link for the birds. Thank you for watching and happy crafting!